Monte Carlo, baby. Here we are. So you may be wondering what is going on. I am going to uh, meet Andreas Hem, the kid that you saw from Norway uh, in my trip. Ooh. <laughs> in my trip two years ago uh, to Oman. One of the best, most fascinating trips of my life. I called Andreas, told him, Andreas, you need to come to the South France. We're gonna be filming a new vlog. We are gonna embark on this new adventure together. Let's make an unbelievable video, an unbelievable vlog. So Andreas said his flight got cancelled and he couldn't make it. <laughs> but no, he's here. First step completed. Now we're waiting for a miracle to happen. Just arrived. It was a hell of a ride. First time on a heli. That was insane. Andreas like Hem, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, you've seen him before. He's our magician, yeah. our um, companion uh, in those amazing yeah. streams that we have, and uh, he also has a another magic yeah. weapon here. That does the job. The only weapon you're allowed to travel with uh, on planes. I remember you were uh, telling me a story about... Uh, oh yeah, it's always a problem. It, it is always a problem, isn't it? But not, not for traveling with you. It's like... Okay, yeah. then we, the problem... We just man. entered Monaco without showing just, our passport. I know two people, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when did you buy this camera? I, I actually bought it from a friend. He has like uh, three Ari Alexas and two red cameras. And he didn't need the last red camera, so I just... Hey, do you sell it? And he was like, yeah, sure. I remember in Oman, I said to the audience that I'm gonna buy one of these in a year time, but I didn't. I had the fund. It was, uh, you know, it was being raised year by year, but uh, quit the idea of buying it. The, the problem is when, when you get the red, you don't need me, right? So I'm no. just happy you didn't buy it. <laughs> do you need anything else? Thank you very much. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure, Mr. Tsipas. And just uh, I w because I watched you on uh, Paris for the Roland Garros, it was great. Merci beaucoup. So guys, you may be wondering what's going on, what's happening. I just came back from London after an intense two weeks of practice and tennis and just, as you know me, in my element. I'm gonna have the opportunity for the next three, four days to spend a little bit of time, you know, catching up with my friends, going on a short uh, vacation that I, I think will be fascinating and very good for me. Andres is here from Norway, who uh, is someone that helped me, um, that was like two years ago, back when I went into to Oman, I, it was a very spontaneous, out of nowhere trip that I planned to Oman. Ended up being one of the best trips of my life. So yeah, we are surrounded by good people. I think this is going to be an epic journey and I'm ready to embark on that journey with all these people that I, I plan getting along with. So really psyched for it. Tomorrow we have a very interesting, very uh, important day full of uh, lots of adventures and interesting stuff that are planned and um, just emotional. It's been a really long time and can't wait to, to get started. Let's go. So there we are. Just arrived to Tudesia. The best spot to be at here in Monaco. Get a, an amazing view of the Principot. And oi! Just careful. This is fun. This is really fun. Just an escape. Just like, you know, just just an escape from the everyday routine. It, it's so much required, so much needed. Here you have 
fronts from this side and then a 180 degree rotation right here is Monaco itself this is pretty cool I can tell you but it's so 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 high just promise me you'll be careful when you come up here I don't even know how to describe Monaco but I'm a proud resident and um, a proud inhabitant of this little tiny country that I call home it offers everything it's full of opportunities and full of uh, luxuries as well what do you think of it it's insane <laughs> Good morning. Looks like a good, good, good day. Mask check, ready for the next adventure. South of France, we are coming. Squeeze in. Squeeze in. Uh, two. Three. Actually. <laughs> Always getting it wrong. <laughs> Always getting it wrong. I don't think this lens justifies how small this is. It doesn't justify. <laughs> Sharp. Hi, sir. Good morning. Hello, good morning. I uh, want a taxi book. A taxi for you, yes. There it is. Just got in the car, ready to take on the adventure. Next stop, the fields. Just made it to the lavender field of the Verdun region. This area is dedicated to the cultivation of lavender. Its sweet scent to our nostrils makes this place one of the best places to be at this time of the year. God, I just love South of France. Weather's great, just having the bees, hearing the bees make all the work. If you just stay silent. Can you hear that? Isn't that magical? And by the way, I forgot to mention, I'm actually allergic to bee stings, so I better be careful. Just gonna take a piece of lavender, respect the cultivation, the growth of it. This is what I call true organic lavender. Cliff jumping day at Theul sur Mer. I have never been there before, but I heard from friends that it's epic. One of the nicest spots the south of France can offer, and uh, we're just grabbing it by the throat. Bonjour! Hello, welcome, morning! Energy, energy, energy! <laughs> okay. How are you? Good, good to you. see you. We're gonna have a good day today. I'm pretty sure about it. Well, no one really knows what it's gonna be like, but... Yeah, we can, we can make that work. Yeah. Well, I'll take this one. 
I'll have to take it in back because I have to transfer. Oh, it. you have you have stuff, yeah. Yeah. Can I put these in the front? Or do you need them, Steph? Uh, you can put them in the front. One sec. I'll I'll help you. This is heavy. Okay, so where are we going? <laughs> We're going on an epic adventure at Seoul sur Mer. Okay. Did I say it the right way? Yeah, you did actually. Cool. It was pretty impressive. Okay, ready? Okay. One sec, no? No, no. We're going! What? Okay. Woo! Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> Were you able to film it? I was, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! It takes off, doesn't it? it? Jesus Christ! Yeah, it's insane. So it's zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 2.7 seconds. That's insane. Yeah, stats. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. Fun fact of the day. <laughs> fact of the day. Three, two, one. Wow. Uh, yes! <laughs> it takes your breath away, doesn't it? It, it takes my breath away, literally. Yeah. Especially if you're not ready for it. Yeah. I shouldn't warn you next time. No, yeah. no you I'll should, just, you do, just it. do it. The power of an engine, huh? Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's insane. And also the way this car puts... Okay, I'm going to get geeky for a second. Sure, let's go. The way it puts the power down because you have four-wheel drive. So every single wheel is putting the power down onto the road. So you get crazy grip. So it actually sends you kind of into a different dimension instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Cliff diving, cliff, cliff dive, jumping, cliff jumping, diving. If we can find the cliff, if we can find the cliff, if we can find the cliff, we'll jump. <laughs> yeah, from here. from here. We're so which, high up. Okay, it which probably is prepares for the Red Bull Championship. In <laughs> Disclaimer: I'm scared of heights. So Steph, I'm also Steph, frightened a little bit. He's well. Look how tall he is. So I'm, he can't be scared of heights because, or else, it would be a, a life struggle. <laughs> Are you scared of heights, Andreas? No. No. no? no. You're good. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. We've been walking for a little bit. It's about 30 degrees. Yeah, we're already struggling. Just uh, arrived to the spot. We're gonna be able to show our abilities here. What good climbers we are. I think I was aerodynamically built for this moment. Me too. I was looking forward to this to this moment and now my adrenaline is at its peak. Where do we jump? So we get, we go, I think like we should go over there. Oh, we climb up. And then we climb up all the way there and we jump from there. Eventually we jump and... Oh shit. Make this a fun moment. Okay, Seb. let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> you got my balls, you might lose them after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're gonna be long gone. <laughs> Here at, uh, how do you call this place again? Théoune sur mer. Merci, monsieur. De rien. Yeah. Show us your tennis skills. So, what would you like to see? I'll play some, some trick shots if you can. Ready? There you go. Is that all? That's, that's, oh, you, you won't see that anywhere else in the world. <laughs> so, I guess that's it. First time here. Boys were uh, skeptical in the beginning. It might not be a good idea to come here and jump from the cliffs. But uh, ended up being the opposite. Seb, you know what, Steph? Just uh, got past his. Uh, how do you call that? Fear of heights. No, hydrophobia. No. 
Look at me, look at look at my size. I mean, is it really that surprising that I have a fear Ipsof of heights? Ipsophobia. Is that you what know, it's called? You know, most of, the, most of the words, most of the words that have phobia in it come from Greece. Nyctophobia. What does that mean? When you don't fear of the dark? Nick? <laughs> With Nick. <laughs> Nyctophobia. Or, uh, for example, uh, I cannot give you an example because I don't have anything in mind right now. I think you're a very good tourism guide because I've lived here my whole life and never come here and it was very good fun. So thank you. Maybe I should open a tourism agency. Steffi's holidays. Steffi's holidays. Steffi's holidays. Steffi's holidays. <laughs> We got past our fears today. We seek discomfort. You yes theory has been inspired. You know, I think I know what phobias I have. I have fear of time. Fear of not living, of not having enough time to live, to fully come alive.